Hi, I've called this video tutorial Movie Zoo in a nutshell. What I'm going to do here is a really fast paced uh, walkthrough of how you go about creating an animation in Movie Zoo. Now, be reassured that all of these steps and stages uh, will be covered in more detail in separate tutorials. But for this easy one, uh, I'm going to show you how you create characters, objects, light a scene, furnish it with visual effects, create cameras, and finally how that you you um, animate all these things and bring them to life. I'll then cover our timeline editor where you can tweak animations and how you go about making a video at the end of the day. Okay, I've just started Movie Zoo. It's, uh, first thing it's going to do is ask me if I want a new scene. I could pick one of these uh, ones. Let's go for the park bench. It's often the easiest way to start. And you can see that the park bench set loads with all these objects in place. Do you know what? I want to get rid of that tree. And instead, the first thing I'm going to do is build my set. I'm going to build some objects here. Let's search for tree and put in a, a nice cypress tree in its place. Let's just put that there. If I wanted to, with any of these things, I can uh, change the colour of any part of them. Um, next thing I'm going to do is create a character. We're going really fast here. Don't worry about the pace. This will all be explained in more detail. There's Helga. Don't like her name. I'm going to call her Mary instead. Uh, let's change her hair. Let's give her purple hair. Something cool. That will do us. And let's also change what she's wearing. We'll give her long sleeves. Change the colour of that. And also on her legs, let's give her a skirt too. Okay. Get yourself in position, Mary. Just turn round like this. Next thing I want to do is add some lighting to the scene. You can see that we've got a nice kind of daylight ambience going on. I'm going to darken things somewhat. Let's edit the environment. Bring the ambience right down. Give it a kind of blue tinge too. I'm going to keep the texture on the sky, but as you can see on the ground, let's give it a kind of sandy barren look. Okay, let's get rid of this. What I'd also like to do is affect the local lighting, and we can see that there's a light hovering up in the sky, which I can pull towards me and drop down. Let me show you what this does. As you move this light around, you can see that all the shadows uh, update. We could change the colour in that if we wanted to, but I'm happy for it to keep this kind of white yellow colour. I think we started off with a scene which was quite nice and sunny, now it's looking just a little bit miserable. So to complete the look, let's add in some effects. Let's add in some low fog. Put it down there as if I've got a kind of spooky vibe uh, going on. And then it becomes a case of adjusting the cameras. Look up at this window right here, this is what this camera can see, and I can just use my 3D controls just to angle it a little better. I'd also like another camera in place. Let's go to create another one to give more of a an overview of the scene. Just like that. Okay, I'm happy with uh, how my set looks, how my character looks, and how my cameras are set up. First thing in the animation process is to add some dialogue. So let's go to prepare dialogue and import something that I've got prepared called Missile Silo import this. I can set the volume at this stage if I want. And I also need to tell uh, this character that she should be talking. If you'd like to hear what she sounds like, then let's just zoom in. Let's hide the cameras. They get in the way. Let's go to direct and hit record. And you can see the lip syncing and the voice in action. This double fronted four bedroom disused missile silo could be the perfect choice for Okay, so our character's automatically talking. Now begins the process of animation. Uh, we call it directing in movies because you're not really animating. You're simply telling the character how you want him or her to behave. And you do this in a series of passes. You direct um, dialogue, audio, camera cuts, everything to do with the character, object properties, blah, blah, blah. We'll go through all this at a better time. But all you need to know to start with is that we're going to animate the body first of all. So let's go to direct, character actions, I'm going to hit rewind, make sure we're back at the start, and simply trigger a whole bunch of happy poses. I'll hit record, and I'll get ready to click this button right here. This double-fronted, four-bedroom disused missile silo could be the perfect choice for this family. It's brand new to the market and has all the space they could ask for, and the converted attic could make the ideal granny flat. Bring her back to idle. Stop, rewind, that's the body done. 
let's go to direct eyes and head because this is pretty good for giving your character character I suppose as it were hit record and we're going to move our head around in a subtle manner this double fronted four bedroom disused missile silo could be the perfect choice for this family it's brand new to the market and has all the space they could ask for and the converted attic could make the ideal granny flat and you can see with that head control we can make a nod in agreement or shake in disagreement we can also go to eyes uh, let's record some eye movement. Again, I've just rewound. Hit the record button This double-fronted, four-bedroom, disused missile silo could be the perfect choice for this family. It's brand new to the market and has all the space they could ask for. Narrow and the converted eyes. attic could make the ideal granny flat. We can do all that with the eyes. Um, that's body and head. What I'd then like her to do, we could go on and on for this for hours, tweaking a, a, a performance. But all I want her to do is walk off set now. I don't always have to rewind to the start, I can pull the scrub thing through to halfway, go to direct character movement, hit record. All the space they could ask for, and the converted attic could make the ideal granny flat. And then pull her off to the side, away she goes. Stop that and rewind. Okay, so I've, I've built an animation up out of several passes, several layers, if you like. Uh, the next thing would be, if I wasn't happy, I could visit the Timeline tool. And you can use this tool to um, to see all the little events you've recorded, all the red eye and head movements and the blue animation stuff and where she's talking and not talking. And you can adjust it in this timeline. You can collapse and, and hide various portions as you see fit. Um, I'm quite happy with anything. If I wanted to adjust animations I can drag them around if needs be but I'm quite happy with everything there so I'll close the timeline the next thing I want to do is direct camera cuts we've got two cameras in scene I can a close up one and I can a far away one and this big window is the view which will get passed through to our final movie so again rewind hit record and I'm just going to select each camera in this turn. double fronted four bedroom disused missile silo could be the perfect choice for this family it's brand new to the market and has all the space they could ask for. And the converted... Okay, that's enough of that. I put in some camera cuts just simply by clicking each window right here. Um, those again would appear on the timeline in the purple line. See, you, you can see your camera cuts right there. Um, okay, let's go to... Final thing we need to do. Video, make video. A new window pops up right here. And again with our timeline at this point, we can zoom in and out. We can change the start and the end markers. You can be accurate by right clicking and typing in actual values. But I'm happy with all that kind of stuff. So make video is going to give us up a prompt. We'll overwrite this one I did as a practice. Yes, I'd like to replace it. And movies is going to spend, oh, you know, less than two minutes rendering off this entire sequence as an AVI file. So while it does that, I'll hit pause. It's finished and it pops up this little I'm finished message and it says that you can either go to the video joiner, um, perhaps if I had little videos that I wanted to join together I could do that, but I don't in this case, so I'm just going to click OK and with a bit of luck I should be able to just press play here. This double fronted four bedroom disused missile silo could there be There we go, there's our little AVI file. I'm not sure if this screen capture software will record the audio that I'm hearing through my headphones, but uh, perfect choice for this family. We've got a little video here that we can then um, use MovieZoo to upload straight to YouTube if you have a YouTube account or you can do with that video you know whatever you like.